If you're one of those people who has a tattoo or you're thinking about getting a tattoo, you might want to think about it twice. The thing about getting a tattoo is that it has an impact on the long run on your health. What does it do to your body? What does it do to have a tattoo or to get a tattoo and even private parts that nobody will see and nobody will recognize or even have the faintest idea that you have one? What are the impacts? What are the long-term effects of getting a tattoo that can actually affect the way you feel, how much energy you have, or even worse situations and health conditions that could come as a result of just having something printed on your skin. Tattoos are getting more and more popular as years go by. You would think that after a decade or two, tattoos would be something of the past, but the reality is that we're seeing more and more young people use tattoos in places where we don't even see they have them. But what are the consequences of getting a tattoo? One of them is that you will never see them go away. And if you have a treatment done on top of them, even then you can recognize a skin that has had a tattoo against one that has never seen a tattoo printed on it. But what are the health consequences in the long run, not just the appearance on the surface, but the intrinsic cell formation of granulomas, cancers, and other conditions that you might be surprised, you might think that are not a consequence you should be worried about. Number one, infections. Infections is something that happens all the time in every way, shape, or form, but with tattoos specifically, you're seeing it very complicated infections and some that will last years or decades if you are not careful. Infections come actually in the needles that are used to make tattoos. These tattoos sometimes, depending on the place where you're going to get one, these needles are not changed. They are sterilized or wrongly sterilized to the point where you can have diseases and viruses or bacteria being transmitted to your skin that will have a great impact, not just now, but also in the future. Sometimes even causing more complicated conditions like cancer, maybe AIDS, uh, HIV, and other diseases that are not fun to have. It's very important that you consider that if you're getting a tattoo, you need to get it in somewhere that it will be safe. Somewhere that even in the safest place you might think of, it might come with a risk because you're never sure how it's being sterilized, used, or how the equipment is being handled. Now, some common infections include, for example, infections with streptococcus, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, MRSA, which are other conditions and diseases that we will get to in just a minute. Now, if you need something natural for this purpose to get your immune system up to par and make sure that any infection you get can actually be combated right at the beginning and not later on, look for Immunogard, Eye Defense, Allergy Ease, and Multivitamin from Fineland at finelandvitamins.com. Number two, allergic reactions. A lot of people don't don't think about this, but this is something very, very common with uh, tattoos. If you're going to get a tattoo, remember you're putting ink inside your skin, in your body. And these ink forms or these pigments are obviously not natural. They don't come from nature. They're just fabricated. They might be even diluted from petroleum and other substances that your body is going to reject. And you might see an allergic reaction. These inks that come in all colors, red, yellows, greens, purples, whatever you choose, really can have that effect and that effect can be permanent because this ink is going to stay on your skin it's going to stay and your immune system is going to react and you're going to see allergic reactions often so you might want to take that into consideration remember tattoos are going to cause allergies maybe not in 100% of the population but in a good portion of these people yes number three skin disorders and delayed skin healing if you're going to disrupt that circulatory and vascular system of your skin with a tattoo, well, obviously you're going to see a delayed healing in any bruising or any condition that you might be having on your skin. It's going to take longer. Over time, your skin is going to suffer the consequence. It's going to have to figure out a way of how to make that vascular system go around the tattoo or make sure that your skin is being well healed all the time and that you're not seeing conditions like psoriasis, eczema, dermatitis, skin conditions that can come with a great cost after a tattoo. And it doesn't really 
matter if you don't see the tattoo if you're not if it's in a private part or it's in in the sun exposed part the reality that is that your skin doesn't really make a difference well, obviously it's going to depend on on some skin that might be more sensitive to others but the reality is that you might see skin conditions that you're going to have to take care of every single day for the rest of your life if you're seeing these reactions if you need something natural to take care of your skin that might help you with everything we're just we're just talking about look for renew skin revival c hydra triplex and collagen from Phylan at phylanvitamins.com number four disrupted energy flow this is something that the chinese actually chinese natural medicine looks on with tattoos you see the thing is that our body has an energy flow every organ in our body produces energy and some more energy than others this can act on our bodies and having them the good natural energy flow that is actually going to be represented by meridians in that acupunctural schedule or acupunctural diagram of that chinese natural medicine of the flow of energy in the human body and although it's not scientifically proven that this is really going on it's been seen that people who get tattoos will see symptoms of a disrupted energy source in some way they will feel fatigued they'll feel tired and sometimes they'll go to the doctor. I've had patients that come to me and I have their lab being done and I see that they have no thyroid problems, no health conditions, but they still feel enti entirely tired, incredibly tired and with fatigue. Now the thing with this is that we might even have to consider that the energy flow of these Chinese meridians, if you want to call them, or the natural energy flow of the body is being interrupted by ink on the skin. In some way, shape or form, it might be affected it might be affecting these patients. It might be affecting these people that have tattoos, not just one, but sometimes tens of thousands of tattoos, believe it or not, in every single corner of their bodies. Take into consideration that a tattoo is not natural to the human body, so it might even affect that energy flow if it exists, and if scientifically we, we can prove this in the future, it might have an effect in some way, shape, or form. Now, if you're one of those people who's suffering from fatigue, tiredness all the time, you might want to look into some supplements that will help your thyroid and your metabolic rate run the way it should. Look for something like Metathyroid Appalizer Energy and also even something for the metabolic rate you might have like Metaglucose and some others. Don't forget to give feel like button, don't forget to share and have someone watch this video if they're needing some advice or may want to look at the consequences in the near future or in the long run. Take care, God bless you all.